So I know one of the great things about uh, Revage are the configuration options you have. I mean, it's a really flexible system with uh, five different uh, surfaces, three different DSP options. Um, talk a little bit about that. Yeah, the, the line has grown. Uh, the interesting part, this is um, we've, we've created a situation to where that the purpose of this whole Revage project is where that the files were compatible between consoles. So to do that, we've um, uh, created a DSP system to where that the services link up to the DSP system. The uh, Revage systems have five console surfaces that you can choose from and three different DSP uh, boxes that connect to all of the surfaces except the CSD R7, which has internal DSP. Uh, this console that we're looking at right now is the um, uh, CS R10, and basically it's designed with a full-blown selected channel that uh, a lot of people like to use. But if you don't like that, we've got the CS R5 that is a total screen operation console, which is, does all the same things with a minimal selected channel, but that's for people who like to do screen-based operations. And then in the middle between there, you've got the uh, CSD R7, which is the same size console as this, but the DSP is built inside. Um, so and, that saves truck space if somebody wants to, yeah, I mean, saves having to carry a DSP, or, or if yeah. you've got a small front of house area, and it's an install, you don't have to have the DSP sitting there. Yeah, you, a lot of people don't like to put the DSP, have, have to have a rack out at front of house, just, you just don't have to have it. And then there's the um, CSR10S, which is the same surface completely as the uh, R10, but this one, the one bay is lopped off. So it has two fader banks and a large selected channel, which for me, I think that's a brilliant console because after doing some mixing on these consoles, I find myself living to the right side of the console to address the selected channel and the left screen and fader bank is just kind of static there, so I like that one. Then you have the CSR3, which is a single screen surface that all of these connect except for the uh, R7 connect to the three DSPs we have. Now. The first DSP is the DSP R10, which is the current one that's the, which is the oldest one that we're out there. It's not that it's old, but it's the first one. That console has uh, 144 inputs, 72 mix sends, 36 matrixes, and 384 plug-in slots. Um, and you're getting those features regardless of the surface. The surface does not matter. If you have the DSP, you can have the the 10, the 5, or the 3, or the S, and you get all of those features. The DSP EX is the expanded version of the DSP, which gives you 288 inputs, 72 mix ins, 36 matrices, and it gives you 512 plug in slots. The next one down from there is the DSP RX. The DSP RX has uh, 120 inputs. 48 mix ins and 24 matrices, uh, and 384 plug in slots. So you get the choice of any of those three DSPs, and they will work with any of the console services. So you kind of mix and match what you want to connect to. The one thing that is great about this whole system is that files can be moved from one, one surface to another, and you don't lose any mixing capabilities except for the fact that the DSP does not allow for a certain number of inputs. And uh, because the system is so flexible, you have to pay attention to what card slots you have and what inputs you have and what racks, but the file, files are completely compatible, can move from one console to another. You just have to pay attention to the differences that you've decided to do. Right, so I mean, so somebody's touring with doing arena and stadium shows and using the big PM10 surface, and then they do a short run of uh, small theaters, they can take their same show file if they've got the same band and everything and, um, and move to a PM3 where they've got a smaller front of house, they can fit the console in a way smaller space, same sonic 
uh, quality and same files and everything. It's just they're mixing on a smaller surface and then when they move back to uh, arenas, they can go back to their PM10 and, and be set. Yeah, the only thing they have to pay attention to is that the input and output configurations are the same. That's great. Yeah.